We were talking about lulls, gusts okay. and lulls. Yeah, I mean, you see these, some of these guys, they just keep, so like in the breeze, you'll know there's a certain sailor that in the breeze, he's always sailing fast, he's great, he's competitive. And so much of the sailing is always keeping your boat moving, speed. Even if you're in the wrong spot, just keeping it going is so critical. But in the light air, you'll see that same sailor really struggling. It's because they just don't work the sheet. And you have to, I mean, I, I'm not great at it, but I've gotten so much better because now when the wind goes down, <clears throat> you overcompensate. You, 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 know, you don't want your boat to heel way up, but you do want to get heel into it to get flow across the sail. You want to give it a huge ease. And once you feel it starting to die out again, you ease in a trim, not a pump, but you know, just an ease and a trim, and just get that sail flow going, and you notice it right away. I mean, it, and that's where you know, if you, you got to get your crew doing that for you, so they, you know, they're watching the wind as the wind starts dying. They're getting on it. They're they're jumping in the boat, and they're talking about it. You know, breeze lightning, and then we got another one coming. And then they're, if anything, they're they're too early. On, the, on coming up, you don't want to kill the boat, but when that wind hits, you don't want the boat to heel way up and then bring it back down, because you lose all the drive. So you almost have to hit it early to make sure that when the breeze hits, you've got the ease and then you can crank it in and the boat just rockets off. You see guys like Hager that just, they are so good. Bricklers are another one. They're so good at, you know, that ease and drive and, you know, their teamwork on the, on the skipper and crew are just excellent.